Did you know that in children, as few as 20% of sore throats are strep throat? Hi, I'm Dr. Scranton from Pediatrics Northwest. In partnership with the Tacoma Pierce County Health Department, I'm here today to tell you more about sore throats. The key piece of information I would like you to take from today's video is that most sore throats will go away on their own and don't need antibiotics. So what causes sore throats? Most sore throats are caused by viruses, the same viruses that cause the cold or the flu, and they do not need antibiotic treatment. There are some sore throats that are caused by bacteria, group A streptococcus, those sore throats are called strep throat. In children, only 20 to 30 out of every 100 sore throats are strep throat. The rest are all caused by viral infections or allergies, dry air, pollution, smoking, or secondhand smoke. So how do you tell the difference between a viral sore throat or strep throat? Well, the symptoms are a little different. Symptoms that are more commonly associated with a viral sore throat, which does not need antibiotics, include sneezing, coughing, watery eyes, mild headache or mild body aches, a runny nose, a low fever, less than 101 degrees Fahrenheit. Symptoms that are more commonly associated with a strep throat include red and swollen tonsils, sometimes with white patches or streaks of pus, tiny red spots on the roof of the mouth, a high fever, 101 degrees Fahrenheit or above, nausea, vomiting, swollen lymph nodes in the neck, severe headache or severe body aches, and or rash. These symptoms may need antibiotics if the testing is positive for strep. Many sore throats can be managed at home, so how do you know when to bring your child to the office? We recommend that your child see a healthcare professional if they have any of the following symptoms associated with their sore throat illness. Sore throat that lasts longer than a week, difficulty swallowing or breathing, excessive drooling, especially in young children, a temperature that's higher than 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, pus on the back of their throat, a rash, joint pain, blood in their saliva or phlegm, dehydration, or recurring sore throats. And remember, if your child is younger than three months of age and has a fever, it's important to always call your healthcare professional right away. If you are concerned that your child has strep throat, talk to your healthcare provider. If your provider is concerned about strep throat on exam, they can perform a quick swab in the office. Strep throat should never be diagnosed just on exam. A lab test should always be performed. Remember, when you use antibiotics appropriately, you do the best for your health, your family's health, and the health of those around you. Thank you for listening. I'm Dr. Scranton from Pediatrics Northwest.